Hi everybody, my name is Chaney. If you're new here, I do videos on Squishmallow, Squishables, Build-A-Bear, Landfly, basically anything that I think is cute. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to talk about Build-A-Bear today. We're talking about their new frog, which is actually my first ever, if I'm not including the creepy little Halloween zombie one. So this is the Jolly Jumps frog, and it definitely makes me regret not having picked up the pink one, the blue one, or that really cute swirl one from a couple months ago. Now I can see the hype. I can see why these are so fun. And this is definitely a little bit more vibrant and in your face. I'm not quite sure if this is going to be as popular as the other frogs are. So on the website it says, Leap into the holiday season with Jolly Jumps Frog. This festive frog friend has pine green fur with an all over print of colorful holiday light. I kind of like it, but it is a lot. You know, so I didn't buy any apparel for it because I felt like it was just going to be really clashing. They did have some dressed up in the store and I was trying to take some inspiration from them. Usually I see the best outfit inspirations on, on Instagram. I think it is so much fun to see how people dress up their bears. But absolutely adorable. I love, love, love how soft this bear is and I got it stuffed nice and soft as well. I didn't have the best experience getting it stuffed and going to the store itself. So I'm going to talk about that in a second. But overall, I definitely enjoyed this bear. This bear is $25 dollars and 50 cents i did get a scent added to it which i do not smell at all i definitely regret getting that scent so this bear is 16 inches in height and it's absolutely adorable so now that i've talked about the actual bear itself i want to talk about my experience so i went to the 34th street build-a-bear by the empire state building that's the builder bear that i used to work at a couple years ago and i went at a bad time i went late at night on a saturday do not recommend. I mean, it wasn't even that late. It was like 7, but that's late enough when Saturdays and Sundays are when everyone's out and there's a lot of tourists in that area, obviously because of the Empire State Building and because of the giant Macy's, I guess. I don't know. So it was really crowded, but it wasn't even that. It was just like the service. So I got the scent birthday cake. I paid for it. That was There wasn't much of a selection, and I know sometimes, you know, stock levels are different. When I went to Queen's Center, they told me a builder bear there as well that they have been having issues with certain supplies coming in on time. So... I just got the birthday cake one, but she didn't rub it all over the bear. She just put it inside and with a scent that faint, and I didn't realize it was going to be that faint, um, but I can't smell it at all. It should have been put all over the body. That's how I was taught. Of course, she could have been taught differently. I don't know, but the other girl across from her was rubbing it on the body. I didn't bother to say anything because I was at 3%, so I was trying to conserve battery and just leave as quickly as possible because I still had to make it back home and there was a lot of train delays so she put the scent in I don't smell a thing um, and the sticker that goes here at some point must have fallen off so when I went to check out the other person there I guess she you can't feel you can't feel it but they usually when you get to the register um, like, and you get registered training, they'll tell you to feel for the bear so that you can feel if there's a sound box, a beating heart, or a scent. Um, and usually the sticker will be here, so that'll let them know to scan that and add it to the price. But like I said, my sticker had fallen off, so she was, like, smelling my bear, and I didn't realize, like, I was on my phone just trying to pull up my coupon code that I had, or not my coupon code. Build-A-Bear has a bear club thing. For every point you spent, you get a dollar. For every dollar you spend, you get a point, and if you reach 100, you get $10 off. So I had one of those rewards and I was just pulling it up and increasing the brightness so that when she scans my phone it'll show up so I wasn't realizing that she was like smelling my bear and putting her whole nose on it and then I look up and I was like yeah there's a scent and I told her which one and then she added it to the price but when I told her to scan if she could scan my little ten dollar thing she's like sure um she scanned it and right away she was just like oh it's expired even though on my end of things it said that it expires on 2023 which was weird because remember I've complained before that these um things don't last as long they usually expire within six months but even if that's the case I had just got in it recently like within the month of October so it couldn't have possibly expired and I was going to tell her like hey this says 2023 so that's not possible but my phone was literally at two percent at that point and I needed it to get home it was a whole thing I didn't charge my phone while I was at work I had just had a really bad day so I didn't question her about it and I probably should have but I didn't want my phone dying mid-conversation and then she'd be like well there's no proof and I can't scan the barcode so I just paid full price for it so this bear is 25.50 and then you add a cent to it I don't know I'll put the price here because I paid for it and I 
I threw away my receipt. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't a pleasant experience. I feel like vibes were off that day, and it could be just because it's Saturday night. They're getting hit hard with a lot of people. Um, so yeah, lesson to myself that I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to go much earlier, which is generally what I do. But since I was already in the area, I was two stops away. I was like, oh, I'll just stop by. Like, what's the worst that could happen? But it just wasn't, it wasn't super fun. But I did get the bear, and I'm very happy that I did. I think it's super cute, very saturated. I would love, love, love to have a simple solid colored frog as well just because i do think it's cute like i like the feed i like the little paws not the paws they're not they're not really paws but you know what i mean also a bunch of other holiday builder bear stuff that i'm thinking about getting like the advent calendar the christmas mouse but i did notice that a lot of people have been talking about builder bears nfts and i've only seen it in the comments of builder bears instagram and i really honestly don't know about nfts or crypto or anything i just know that i don't want to have any part in buying those kinds of things but a lot of people are upset that build a bear is even offering that and they're like boycotting build a bear and they're leaving like very negative comments which i don't blame them like if you feel that way you feel that way i think they should be able to express their opinions i just don't think build a bear is going to do anything about it i don't think build a bear is going to address it in any way shape or form unless you personally contact customer service and i really do wonder what they would say so i'm probably going to do some more research and come out with a video because i have been asked whether or not i'm going to continue to support build a bear after they made that announcement and i don't know where i stand because i don't have all the facts so let me know where you stand on that feel free to share some info so i'm gonna do my research and do a future video about it later but i just wanted to address it because i haven't had the chance to since all my videos are filmed in batches it usually gets filmed weeks before you see it not in this case though this is pretty recent my camera overheated so i just have to turn this on real quick to say thank you for watching thank you for making it to the end of this video i really really appreciate it stay safe out there and i will see you next time bye